Yeah, for me, the main purpose of the analysis process is to take that raw data we've collected about that subject we're interested in and turn it into information we can work with. Um, it's, it's the process by which we attribute meaning to the results we've collected, and that helps inform our findings and the conclusions we might reach in our projects. I think there's a number of key decisions that researchers have to make in terms of uh, the analysis process. Um, one of the first things they have to ask themselves um, after they've collected the data is, is that data complete? Um, do they have enough data um, to answer or that relates to all of their research questions? Um, if it isn't complete, they may, they may need to identify some gaps and consider some further um, data collection. Also, as a researcher's project develops, they will often find that some of the data they've collected becomes surplus to requirements as the focus might slightly change or the questions might be refined. Um, so there's some key decisions to make about what to leave out of the analysis process. And then I think um, researchers need to revisit the plans around their data analysis methods and make sure they're fit for purpose. Um, and a key consideration there is whether the data analysis methods they propose to use um, align well with the types of data they've collected and what they want to be able to, to show. Um, so, for example, if someone has collected a lot of statistical data, they need to make a decision about whether they use um, descriptive statistics that show kind of general patterns and demographics, or whether they need to go further and use inferential statistics that might show the relationship between different variables or factors. If they've been undertaking a qualitative data collection, then they need to be sure that they've got a robust method for analysing that qualitative data. One of the big criticisms of qualitative research, uh, where we do interviews and focus groups, is that the researchers um, sometimes look as if they're cherry-picking the quotations um, or the, the, you know, the descriptions that have been um, provided to them to fit the argument they want to make. So you need to have a, a method of qualitative data analysis that lets the data speak for itself. Now that's probably going to involve some kind of um, thematic analysis that brings to the fore a range of views and opinions. Um, it may involve um, some type of analysis that looks at uh, the individual's experience. But whatever data collection, um, whatever data analysis you want to undertake, you have to be sure that you've got a robust method that lets the data speak for itself and allows you to defend your conclusions. Mm -hmm. That in terms of the relationship between our research questions and our data and uh, our conclusions, um, I think the key issue is one of alignment. We need to be able to show that the research questions that we've asked, um, we've collected relevant data against, and that the data we've analysed um, is being used to make informed conclusions that relate to those original research questions. Um, now, there's two, I think, two key considerations here um, in terms of thinking about the relationship between data analysis and conclusions. Um, the conclusions we arrive at have to be able to be seen and should be based um, directly upon the data analysis we've undertaken. Um, conclusions in a research project um, are not the place to bring in um, new information um, or to start talking about issues that we haven't actually investigated. I think another key consideration in terms of the relationship between our data, our analysis and our conclusions is to be absolutely upfront about the gaps that might still remain um, when we've got to the end of the research process. These might be um, areas where we've only partly answered some of the research questions, which is absolutely fine, or it may be areas that have emerged um, through the data analysis that we didn't set out to investigate originally, and we might identify those as areas for further research in the future.